Welcome everyone. Today we are going to explore a topic that has been a subject of much debate and research. Is coffee good or bad for your health? Coffee, a beverage that is enjoyed by millions of people worldwide, has been under the microscope for its potential health effects. In the early days, coffee was often associated with various health problems. However, with the advancement of research and technology, our understanding of coffee and its health effects has evolved significantly. Frank Hu, chair of the Department of Nutrition at Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, has stated that the overall evidence strongly suggests that coffee is more healthful than harmful. For most people, moderate coffee consumption can be a part of a healthy diet. When we say moderate coffee intake, we are referring to about two to five cups a day. This level of consumption has been linked to a lower likelihood of several health conditions. These include type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and certain types of cancer such as liver and endometrial cancers. It's also associated with a lower risk of neurological conditions like Parkinson's disease and mental health conditions like depression. Some studies even suggest that moderate coffee drinkers may have a reduced risk of premature death. However, it's important to note that coffee may not be beneficial for everyone. The effects of coffee on children are not well studied, and it's generally recommended that children avoid caffeine. Pregnant women are also advised to limit their caffeine intake, as high levels of caffeine could potentially be harmful to the fetus. Individuals with panic or anxiety disorders may find that caffeine exacerbates their symptoms and should therefore be cautious with their coffee consumption. For those who do drink coffee, there are a few tips to maximize the health benefits and minimize potential risks. Experts suggest brewing coffee with a paper filter. This is because unfiltered coffee contains certain compounds that can increase levels of LDL, or bad, cholesterol. High levels of LDL cholesterol can contribute to heart disease. Additionally, while a little cream and sugar may make your coffee taste better, it's best not to go overboard with these additions, as they can add extra calories and fat. In conclusion, while coffee was once seen as potentially harmful, the tide of scientific opinion has shifted. Today, the health benefits of moderate coffee consumption are widely recognized, while the potential risks are better understood and can be managed with careful consumption. So, next time you enjoy your cup of coffee, remember, like all things, moderation is key. Thank you for joining us today and stay tuned for more health and wellness topics.